Imagine waking up in 2025, grabbing your favorite mug of coffee and logging into a job that didn't even exist a few years ago. Sounds pretty sweet, right? Well, we're about to take a wild ride into the future of remote work. And we're gonna be talking about data, trends, and a crystal ball. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Okay, maybe not the crystal ball, but seriously, the remote work landscape is changing faster than you can say you're on mute. And by 2025, we're not just gonna be talking about coding in your pajamas, we're gonna be entering a whole new world of opportunities. So whether you're a seasoned remote warrior or you're just dipping your toes in the virtual water, this video is gonna be your ticket to the hottest remote industries of the near future. So are you ready to future-proof your career? then let's dive in. And by the way, if you need help landing some of the jobs in these industries, you're gonna need a really good resume. And instead of buying a super expensive resume template that doesn't even work, go ahead and download my proven free resume template that works like three times better than the expensive templates out there because it's guaranteed to pass the ATS systems. And you can check that out by clicking down in the description and the pinned comment below. Now let's explore those future job industries. All right, so first we've got AI and machine learning specialists. Picture this, it's 2025 and AI is everywhere. Not in a creepy, Skynet way, but in a making our lives easier kind of way. And companies are scrambling for experts who can teach machines how to think. And what do you know? You can actually do this from your couch. Now, I know what you're thinking. But Shane, I can barely teach my dog to sit. Don't worry, we're not talking about creating sentient robots here. It's more about using data to make smart decisions. Think of it like teaching a really smart parrot to recognize patterns. Except this parrot can predict stock markets or diagnose diseases. And the best part? Many of these jobs don't require a PhD in rocket science, nano bot technology or anything crazy like that. And online courses and boot camps that teach this stuff are popping up faster than you can say machine learning. So here's a remote machine learning specialist who debunks the myth that all AI work requires in office setups. And while some believe powerful GPUs tie ML jobs to physical offices, Okjo works comfortably from his home. And their secret? A combination of cloud services like GCP, Azure, or AWS for heavy lifting, plus a personal desktop with a robust GPU for when they want to keep things local. And this flexible setup allows Okjo to tackle complex ML tasks without sacrificing the perks of remote work, proving that in 2025, AI wizards can conjure their magic from just about anywhere. So if you've got a knack for numbers and a passion for problem solving, this could be your golden ticket to the remote work wonderland. And remember folks, in the future, AI won't replace jobs, it'll create them, and you could be riding that wave all the way to the bank. This has happened every single time there's been a major technological advancement. Everyone freaks out, they think that all the jobs are gonna be gone, Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. And yes, some of the jobs do disappear, but they're usually replaced by two different types of jobs. So there's actually more jobs at the end of the day. Speaking of waves, if you're enjoying this glimpse into the future, why not ride the wave of the like button? It helps more people discover this content. Plus it trains the YouTube algorithm or AI to recommend more awesome content like this to you. See, you're already working with AI. Next is going to be cybersecurity experts. And these are the unsung heroes of the digital world. And in 2025, these folks are like the Navy SEALs of the internet. Except instead of jumping out of planes, they're jumping into lines of code. And with more of our lives online than ever before, cyber attacks are becoming as common as cat videos. And here's the kicker. You can fight these digital bad guys from anywhere. That's right, you could be saving the world in your underwear while you're lying in bed if you want to. Not that I'm speaking from experience or anything. Now, I know what you're thinking. But Shane, I barely remember my own passwords. Don't sweat it. There are tons of online courses and certifications to get you started. Plus the demand is so high, many companies are willing to train the right candidates. For instance, here's Sandra, a remote security analyst juggling a four-month road trip with full-time work. Currently in Seattle, she balances project-based tasks and ticketing duties. And her day starts with a hotel breakfast, followed by two to three meetings. And then she leads long-term projects, handles ad hoc security issues, and stays current on tech trends like AI. Midweek is busiest, with Mondays for catch-up and Fridays for planning. And despite the hectic schedule, she prioritizes mental health and exploration. And this analyst proves that with careful planning, you can blend work, travel, and personal growth. So if you've got a knack for solving puzzles and a desire to be a digital superhero, cybersecurity might just be your calling. And trust me, in 2025, these jobs will be hotter than my laptop after a 12 hour gaming session. And by the way, just wanna say this really quick, there's a lot of different cybersecurity related careers out there. I'm just talking about cybersecurity in general. And same goes for all of the other careers on this list. Next is going to be virtual reality designers. And buckle up folks, because we're about to enter the matrix. Well, not quite, but close enough. In 2025, virtual reality isn't just for gamers anymore. It's revolutionizing everything from education to healthcare. And imagine designing virtual classrooms where kids can explore ancient Rome or creating immersive therapy sessions for people with phobias. And the best part? You can do it all from your home office or your backyard or a beach in Bali. You get the idea. Now, I know what you're thinking. But Shane, I can barely draw a stick figure. <laughs> 
Don't worry, VR design isn't just about art. It's about creating experiences, solving problems, and thinking in 3D. Plus, with tools becoming more user-friendly, the barrier to entry is lower than ever. So just as an example, meet this VR developer with four years of experience. He shares that VR development often mirrors traditional game design, but offers more opportunities for newcomers to make big impacts. And there's generally less crunch time and a focus on creating optimized, high-quality mobile VR experiences. So if you've got a wild imagination and a passion for technology, VR design could be your ticket to a mind-bending career. Just remember, in the virtual world, there are no limits, except maybe the size of your hard drive. Speaking of imagination, I'd love to hear yours. Drop a comment below about what careers you think are going to be the biggest in the next 10 years. Maybe some of these careers already exist and you think they're going to grow, and maybe some of them don't even exist yet, but I definitely want to hear all about it, so comment down below. Next is going to be remote healthcare professionals, and this is huge because it's coming from someone who has worked in healthcare. Because in 2025 and beyond, the doctor will see you now might mean firing up your lap laptop or your iPad. That's right, we're talking about healthcare professionals working from home. And this is a growing trend that I've seen over and over again. There's all kinds of random little healthcare related careers out there, and many of them are starting to be done remote. Now, I'm not saying you'll be performing surgery over Zoom, although with the way technology is advancing, who knows? What I'm talking about is telemedicine, remote patient monitoring, and health coaching, all from the comfort of your own home office. But Shane, I faint at the sight of blood. No worries. I I worked in healthcare and I don't like that either. There are tons of non-clinical roles in healthcare. Think health IT, medical coding, even developing health apps. And even a lot of the clinical ones, you don't see that much bad stuff. And the best part, you're literally saving lives while working in your pajamas. And with an ongoing aging population and increasing healthcare needs, this field is set to explode faster than my blood pressure after a triple espresso. Now, here's a fact. Remote healthcare is transforming medicine globally, empowering doctors to reach patients like never before. From reducing travel time to expanding access to care, telemedicine is breaking down barriers, with forward-thinking countries seeing up to 41% of consultations happening virtually, proving that the future of healthcare is just a click away. So if you've got a passion for helping people and a steady internet connection, remote healthcare might just be your calling. And remember, in 2025, the house call is making a comeback. It's just gonna be happening over video chat. Next is going to be sustainability consultants. That's right, we're going to be getting green for the next few minutes, and I'm not talking about money. Although, there is going to be a lot of money in this industry. In 2025, sustainability isn't just a buzzword. It's a big business. That's right, you can save the planet from the comfort of your living room. And sustainability consultants are like the superheroes of the corporate world. Except instead of capes, they wear, well, whatever they want, because they work remote. And these eco-warriors help companies reduce their carbon footprint, implement green technologies, and navigate in environmental regulations. And this is likely going to be one of the fastest growing and most profitable industries in the world. And this is all about keeping all the benefits of the modern world and technology and the industrial world while minimizing all of the downsides. So if you've got a passion for the planet and a knack for number crunching, sustainability consulting could be your path to a greener future. And speaking of saving the planet, why not save your friends from boring careers? Share this video with them so that they can have really good ideas of the careers they should be going into as well, or just to see if they agree with me. Next is going to be digital marketing specialists. Yes, we're going to be talking about the wizards of the internet. In 2025, these folks are like the Don Drapers of the digital age, except instead of three martini lunches, they're going to be chugging energy drinks and crushing KPIs. And with more businesses going online than ever before, digital marketing isn't just growing, it's exploding. We're talking about social media mavens, SEO gurus, and content marketing ninjas, all working from the magic of wherever they please. So if you spend a lot of time online or scrolling social media and you can figure out why cat videos go viral, you're halfway there. So let me tell you about Keyshawn, a guy who went from flipping burgers to digital marketing stardom. At 19, fresh out of high school, he was working at Chick-fil-A, unsure about his future. At the time I was working at Chick-fil-A, going in every day and like uh, flipping uh, chicken to put the little coder on, I was doing that. But he always had a fascination with making money online. And after diving into digital marketing courses, guess what? At 20, he landed a job paying $70,000 a year without a college degree. They hired me for 70K a year. At 20 years old. That's amazing, yeah. man. That is awesome. And his secret, as Keyshawn says, Most businesses fail in because the, they just don't have any foundation to go off of. So you really need a skill. And what he means here is you want to learn an in-demand skill. It's very important that you build up your base skill set by learning a skill that's in demand in many different industries. And that's exactly what Keyshawn did. He learned digital marketing, which is a skill that you can use in just about any industry you go into or just about any career path you end up going into. And the best part, you can start small and grow big. Many digital marketers begin as freelancers before landing full-time remote gigs. And then many of them go on to 
start their own businesses. So if you've got a creative mind and a finger on the pulse of pop culture, digital marketing could be your ticket to remote work stardom. Just remember, in 2025, the most valuable real estate isn't on Fifth Avenue, it's on the first page of Google. And hey, by the way, if Keyshawn's story got you excited, check out the free digital marketing training by Seth Jared Himes, who's the person who helped Keyshawn get his job, in the description down below. It might just be your first step towards that $70,000 salary. Next is going to be ed tech specialists. That's right, folks, class is in session. And by class, I mean the booming field of educational technology. And I am unbelievably passionate about this field. Because in 2025, learning isn't just about textbooks and chalkboards and spending $100,000 on a college degree that may or may not be useful. It's about virtual classrooms, AI tutors, and gamified learning experiences. It's about people being able to share their skills with other people online and getting paid to do it so the other people learn faster and everyone benefits. And ed tech specialists are the masterminds behind these digital learning tools. And they're revolutionizing education faster than you can say pop quiz. But Shane, I barely passed high school and I never got good grades. No worries. EdTech isn't just about being a brainiac. It's about understanding how people learn and making it fun and engaging. Plus, with remote learning becoming the new normal, the demand for EdTech experts is skyrocketing. You could be designing interactive courses, developing educational apps, or even creating VR field trips to ancient civilizations. And the best part? You're shaping the future of education from your home office. So here's an EdTech specialist who's revolutionizing online learning. Armed with cutting edge tools like iSpring and Articulate Storyline, these learning experience designers are shaping the future of education, enjoying great work-life balance and the satisfaction of making valuable contributions to the digital classroom of tomorrow. So if you've got a passion for learning and a knack for technology, EdTech could be your classroom of the future. And remember, in 2025, the coolest teacher might just be the AI that you helped create. Speaking of learning, why not subscribe to this channel? It's like enrolling in a free course on future-proofing your career and making probably like five times as much money in your future than you would if you didn't subscribe to the channel. Plus, you'll be the first to know about new remote work opportunities and tips. So hit that subscribe button and join our remote work revolution. And next, we're going to be talking about remote work consultants. And this is the meta job of all meta jobs. In the next 20 years, careers are going to be changing so rapidly. And there's going to be certain skills that are going to be in demand. And then there's going to be new jobs that pop up all of a sudden. And the way the traditional education industry works right now, colleges are not going to be able to keep keep up with the demand, not even close. And so I predict that learning is going to be very person to person and there's going to be specialized careers that actually help to identify the skills that are in demand, the positions that don't have enough people to fill them, and then train people rapidly and efficiently on the skills that they need to get into that position and do the job. And this is gonna happen in many different ways. I think there's gonna be specialized companies that do this, but I actually do think there's going to be special positions that do this as well. So instead of companies just having recruiters that work for them, them, they're probably going to have people that go out and actually train people and then bring them back to the company. And they're also going to have people that do this within the company as well so that people can advance and go into different positions. And specifically, I'm talking about remote work consultants. So they're going to be doing all of this, but for remote work related jobs. And when you think about it, that's actually kind of what I'm doing right now. And I do think there's going to be a lot of remote work consultants that work as freelancers or start their own business. And if you're in one of those careers where there's a lot of demand and you want to teach other other people how they can get into the career, then you should check out my completely free guide down below that is called Monetize Yourself, Turn Your Pain Into Profits. Because this will teach you exactly how I was able to do this and how many others are able to do it as well. And also, if you haven't watched already, I did make a video, the 21 remote jobs that are almost always hiring. It absolutely blew up. People loved it. And you can check that out by clicking right here.